I am going on a little weekend trip, so I'm gonna vlog it, I guess. But first, I'm gonna say goodbye to my kitties. Goodbye, PG. I love you. I'll see you Sunday. I'll be back so soon. I love you. Bye, my easy. I love you, my easy. I love you. Goodbye, my Jazzy. I love you. I love you. You're so pretty. Look at you. So pretty. Okay, funny story. I did not end up vlogging, like, at all. But I'm just gonna tell you about my weekend. And you can hear about it over some b-roll footage so i drove about seven hours and i had quite a few road bumps on my trip i did film me getting pretty mad though hi guys so i got like 75 miles to go on this highway so i made it through new york city and new um the uh, beginning of i'm still in new jersey right now but that was a pain in my fucking ass you see I thought New York City was a thing that was gonna give me problems and it did because my car does not like the, the starting and stopping all the time thing so it got confused and sputtered but I got the engine back working again it's fine just an old car it has its quirks so then I got to New Jersey and I was driving for a bit and I was like damn I really have to pee because I had been holding it for about two hours in traffic and I was like okay it says service area right here I'm assuming there's a bathroom I found a place and it made you get a ticket to go in and I was like what the fuck why do I need a ticket but whatever I really have to pee and it doesn't seem like I can back out of here so I pressed the button I pressed the button, got a ticket, and then went into pee. And then I tried to leave, and it was like, cannot read ticket. And I was like, what? What do you mean you cannot read the ticket? You g just gave me the ticket. So then I went back in and tried to see if I could, like, pay it off or something. Then ticket ripped in half, and I tried to put it back in, and then it got stuck, and now the machine's broken but there was no one there so I went I couldn't I couldn't figure out how to leave I was like I'm trapped in this New Jersey parking lot I went banging on all the doors because there was a security guard car there and I was like okay that must mean there's like a security guard here someone I can like get some help from and I was like I got to the point where I was so like freaked out that I was banging on every door and I was like what the hell I looked all around a number to call but the only number displayed of course was 911 so I was like I guess I call 911 and so I did and then I was like hello please I'm stuck in this service area please can, like I can't leave it's not letting me the ticket and then she's like hold on I'm transferring you to a state police and then I got transferred and I was like and I did the same thing. I was like, I'm in this service area and I'm stuck at Willoughby out. Please help. And then they kept putting me on hold and kept being like, um, there's no gate there. What are you talking about? What? There's no gate at that service area. I was like, yes, there is. Yes, there is. You're not believing me. Believe women. I can't leave. They literally wouldn't believe women. I was like, oh, I guess that's what I had to expect. Then I started driving around and I saw like this little cut through. I don't know if that was like supposed to be there. I don't know if that was the in or the out. I don't know. But I found a way to get through without like causing problems. So I I went through and then I was free, but I hung up. I don't think you're supposed to hang up on 911, but on 911. I don't know if I did anything wrong or but they were like denying me. I was like like I'm stuck it was terrifying I was stuck for like a solid 20 minutes to a half hour like trying to figure it out and then I just drove around until I found like an exit and I did so back to road tripping I got like three and a half hours to go the drive overall wasn't so bad I just had a few whoopsies but then I got to 
the destination. I don't know what I'm allowed to say, so I'm just not going to say anything at all. But I saw my friends. I saw my friend Maya Claire, and I also saw Nick at night. So I'm ve I was very excited to see them. You know, Twitter moots can become IRL oomphies. It is possible. And we had a lot of fun. We hung out and I got there late. So we were all kind of tired, but we were just vibing and chilling. We were giggling. Uh, we watched some Cody Co videos together. We, we had fun doing that. Hello, Bella. Hello. 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 The next day, we ended up going, we got coffee, and then we also went to go see the Super Mario movie. Personally, that was my favorite thing that we did. It was a lot of fun, and we were all like giggly little bitches. And I also did immediately pull out Letterbox as soon as the movie ended. Um, I know a lot of you like my Letterbox, so you can look at my review here. But yeah, we had fun. Nicole's mom made us burgers, and they were pretty good burgers too. Um, we mostly just chilled. It was Nick's birthday, so we were hanging out. I couldn't stay for very long, so we mostly just hung out and, like, got to, like, just enjoy each other's company in person, you know, nice to see our oomphies. We just wanted to hang, and I guess I didn't need to vlog it because I just had fun with my friends, but then I also, on my way back, I got to go visit my friend Noah. Guys, I'm with Noah. Yeah. 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 I'm in Baltimore. Baltimore, Maryland. Balmer. And uh, they show me around their city. And it's, you know, a very beautiful city there. And we just walked around. I couldn't stay there for very long. So they just kind of showed me, like, the essentials of what I needed to see. But I got, I feel like I got a pretty good taste of Baltimore, and I'm definitely a Baltimore appreciator now. I would definitely be willing to go back. What the fuck? <laughs> they went, you notice anything about this gate, bruh. But it still doesn't look good. <laughs> no, that's it's, bad. It's they good. should change it. They should. Um, we got coffee there. The coffee was pretty good. It was a little hipster place. And the barista was this adorable, like, I don't know how to say it nicely, but I mean, like, twink. But, like, with all the love in my heart, he was a twink, but he was, like, such a sweetie pie. Like, I mean that in the nicest way. He was just, like, a friendly little guy and got made he he made the coffee like i can't be mad at him like this comes from all the love of my heart and he was very nice and sweet and then we just walked around chatted had a good time oh my god my camera's sweaty from my musty ass there we go it's lafayette is that the wood what Rose does he Wilson? sing in hamilton oh what <laughs> shit i don't know <laughs> he has a crazy rap i think Oh my god, it's George Washington. I don't- does he rap in Hamilton? He does! Oh my god, yes he does. Let's go lesbians. Let's go lesbians. Yeah, so our 7-Eleven's haunted. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, at, got it at a tourist shop in Flagstaff. I vlogged, so I figured I'd use the footage somehow. I don't know how to vlog better. I'm really not a person that likes to film myself out in public. I don't really like even, like, taking pictures with people. So, I overestimated my willingness to film me doing things. Because I don't even like taking pictures. So, uh, I don't even know why I expected myself to do this. But, uh, drive back was fine. I was so ready to get home. I was, my back was so sore from driving so much. 
you know, that's a long drive. I drove really far. But nothing particularly crazy happened besides me getting stuck in a New Jersey parking lot. And I don't know why the majority of my drive was in New Jersey, but it was. And I would really like to avoid that next time. So I probably will. But thank you for watching. Enjoy some of the lovely footage I took of Baltimore. And have have a good travels if you travel or if you would like to go see cities, I think you should.